Hi friends, welcome to Offer Studies YouTube channel. This is part 50 in Python playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about file handling in Python on a high level. So what is the meaning of the file handling? Usually when you work as a web developer or when you work as a data engineer, data analyst, data scientist, whatever may be the need, you usually encounter a use cases where you want to work with the files using Python. Maybe reading the data from the files, maybe deleting the files or updating the files or appending the content into the file. So many such uh, use cases you will encounter in day to day life. So there is some very useful function called open function in Python that will be helped to, to work with the files. So usually what we have to do using this function we need to open the file in a read mode or write mode or append mode and then perform other rest other activity. So this open function actually takes two parameters one is file name and another one is mode. So this mode this file name will tell you which file to open and then this mode will tell you whether I am opening this file to perform the read or to perform the write or to perform the delete. So all that uh, uh, or maybe I want to create a new file completely. So this mode is going to define that. So if you did, if you see these four modes whatever you are seeing here these are the modes which will be allowed right now in the open function. So R will be for reading the file. For example if the file is not there then you will get an error saying file is not there. A is for the append that means it is it will open a file to append the content to it. If the file is not there then it will create a new file altogether. Similarly W is going to uh, to, to open, open file to write the content to it and it is going to create a file if the file is not there. X is going to create a file if the file is already there then it is going to uh, return the error saying file is already available. So not only this we can add another two modes as well on top of those modes uh, which is one is T to open the file in a text mode b to open a file in a binary mode. So usually this binary mode will be used when we try to open files like images and all or else everything will be text mode only but uh, yeah this text mode also like a by default value. Now let me practically show you how to work with it. So let me go to visual studio code and in the visual studio code if you see here this explorer menu I have opened a uh, folder called python lab here. So this folder is my project folder inside this folder only I will be keeping all my python files. So if I see the same folder in my local directory in the file explorer you can see I am in the same path python lab and these are all the files whatever you are seeing right now in the visual studio code as well. So if I go to visual studio code here you can see this powershell command terminal also in the same same location. So now in this path only let us try to create one file either you add file here or you add file here anything is fine. So let us try to create one simple text file and I am going to name it like sample file dot txt ok let me open this file sample dial.txt and inside this file let me type content maybe like hello world ok this is the content of the file let me save these changes let me close this sample.txt file and if I go to file explorer I can see the sample.txt file here as well because ultimately this is like a folder on your local system. Now using this python code I want to work with this file maybe let us assume I want to read content from that file so let us understand how to do that using the open operation. So this open operation this open function if you see this function takes two arguments actually are two parameters one is file name if you see the intelligence what one is file name and second is mode. So here you have to give a full path of your file name. So right now my execution is already in the python lab uh, so I can simply use the file name only I no need to give a full path if the path is different I need to give a full path. So here I am going to simply supply my file name here sample file dot txt that is my file name. Okay, and why I have not used full path why because if you see when I am going to execute this python file I am anal, I am already inside that folder only ok. Now let me minimize this explorer here and here I can supply the mode. So R is the uh, mode I want to supply because I want to read the file and I want to open the file actually using the text mode. So I can use the RT even if I do not supply this RT it is going to be by default even if I use code like this then by default mode is going to be R and T in, in for the open function. So this function is going to create a object uh, that, that has to be stored in a variable. So let me store that into maybe like my file is a variable name. So inside this variable I am storing an object what is what, what this open function is creating it. And then below here what I can do once my file is open on top of this my file variable I will be having a function called for example read and this function will help you to read the data from that file whatever you opened. And uh, since I opened this file in a read mode only since I have not provided any mode here so it is going to be read only or let us try to keep this explicitly to avoid the confusion. And this read method is going to read the content from that file and it is going to print. If you remember 
inside this file i have a content called hello my uh, sorry hello world so let me close this let me minimize this explorer here so let's try to print this output whatever this read function is going to give back so let me save these changes here and now if i execute let me clear this screen if i execute this if you see see it is printing hello world so why this how it is happening because open function using this read mode open my file to read the content and read function helps you to read the data and print the print function help you to print the data so this is how this open function will be useful to open working when we are handling the files in the python uh, here i have given only simple example to read the file but there are lot lot more other things if you want to read only specific line if you want to read only specific content all that is also possible so in our next video we will discuss how with some multiple use cases when you are performing read operation on top of your files and in the further more videos we will discussing how to write the data and how to delete the files everything we are going to discuss in detail in our upcoming videos so let me go back to presentation so that's it in this video the main intention of this video is to get you idea about the open function i hope you got it in our upcoming videos as i said we will discuss more about how to read the content to it or how to add the content to it how to delete the content how to delete the file how to create the file everything we are going to discuss in detail so thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i add videos thank you so much